Welcome back to part two of the toothpaste for thermal paste experiment. I did the original experiment a while back just to see if it even worked. And I didn't really even think it would, but I was surprised it did. So I wanted to see what would happen for a long term. And my thinking back then long term was months, maybe six months. And here we are a year and a half later into the experiment. And before we get started, pause the video and leave a comment below what you think how this experiment went and how well it went. And we're gonna start right now. Welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to comment below about what you think how the experiment went. I appreciate it. So speaking of this experiment, I want to go into what this computer has been used for and everything I've done with it. It's been primarily my main station studio computer. One of the few things I've had it doing has been um, like my low power 100 milliwatt experiment uh, AM radio station for some of my vintage radio equipment. I use it in the studio for other things as well, from checking on the station, checking videos, things like that, you know, the normal, I guess, geeky studio stuff. <laughs> anyway, so one of my good friends suggested that maybe I try also shutting it down, maybe leave it off for a little bit because maybe always it running might affect things if it uh, maybe wasn't running all the time. So I actually let it... Uh, sit idle not running for a couple of months then i brought it back had it running again i'm doing things so i kind of cycled between those things not using it using it just to see you know what would happen and so far this entire time surprisingly has been amazingly trouble free i haven't had any problems with it it's been running fine I was kind of surprised though, when it came to doing the temperature benchmarks. So let's get those pulled up here real quick and uh, cover that. Back in October 1st, when I first started this, on the seventh day in, um, I took a temperature reading. It was 30, 39 degrees Celsius, which is pretty good for uh, toothpaste. So let's fast forward here now to uh, March 16th of 2019. And today, under the full load benchmark, we are now hitting 53 degrees Celsius. So it's jumped quite a bit, surprisingly. All right, so now let's pop the top off this thing and see what's up. All right, so here it goes. We're gonna pop these little things off here year and a half <laughs> oh boy I can't wait to see this oh wow oh wow let's get a closer look at this huh It definitely has got this interesting, like, almost like it's dried up. It's definitely dried up. It's like a powder. Wow. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> oh man. Look at that, it's just crumbling like it's, like it's a powder. <laughs> oh, can't believe that. How was that even working? How was I only 53, 54 degrees for the core temperature on this thing? That stuff is like powder. <laughs> I'm surprised this thing didn't overheat to catch fire or something crazy like that. Wow. Well, that was some crazy results. I appreciate you commenting, stopping in and watching it. And if you enjoyed the video, consider hitting that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Maybe 
23 years thermal paste toothpaste. <laughs> Man, I think not. How's that thing that died? 